after several weeks of tremendous performances from our Miss Kitty contestants, you know, we are heading towards to the grand finale where we are yet to crown our queen, our first queen for Miss Kitty Ghana. And today on this episode, we are talking to our beauty queens and they are here to educate us about the do's and don'ts of beauty queens, how to handle ourselves when we are in public. Like, it's, you know, it's a one-on-one -on -one interactions with them. And today, guess what? I have some wonderful, eloquent, amazing, and beautiful young ladies with me here. And you want me to introduce them? Of course, I would introduce them. I have with me Miss Ghana 2019, and she is Miss Rebecca Kwabi. A round of applause for her. I'm not happy to see them. And I also have with me my personal person, my own sister. And I know you are itching to know the kind of conversation we are going to have with our queens. But you know what? I'll be right back. So stay tuned. Make it! It's original, you gotta take it. Macberry. Macberry, Macberry. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Welcome back and still on our interactions with our beauty queens. I'd like to give them the platform to set the ball rolling. So first, we'd like to begin with our queen from GMB 2020, Miss Zuzu. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hi. Oh, that's nice. I hope you are all well. Yes. Miss Kiddy Ghana. Yes. Nurturing Kiddy Queens for a future reign. Tatiana. Nurturing Kiddy Queens for a future reign. Okay, that's amazing. I'm so glad to be here with you today. Um, today we are going to learn a lot. Um, being in a beauty pageant, like your slogan says, it is nurturing you um, to be better, so that when you are in your you're in the midst of your colleagues, you will look different. People should just see you and know that you've gone for a pageant. People should just see you and know that you are there's something special about you. So after Miss Kiddy Ghana, if you go home and you are with your classmates or your colleagues and we don't see that special thing around you, then I don't know why you even came here in the first place. After here, you should be unique. After here, you should go and teach your friends a whole lot of things. So while you're here, we are here to um, tell you the things or to teach you the things that you're supposed to do when you go out that can make you look unique, make you look the lady-ish, and make you stand out um, when you are among your peers. Um, our food is getting cold, so let's start with the food. So who knows how um, to hold? Um, I believe we all have our napkins on our laps already, and yes, we do. And so we are going to go straight. Who knows how to use a cutlery? You hold the fork with your left hand, and then the knife with your right hand. Can we all do that? So we are about to eat just like that. Okay. So I have mine. You all have yours, right? Like this and like that. Can 
see that our meat is already chopped this this is actually um sorted sorted fried rice right assorted yeah. fried rice assorted fried rice so we mostly have our meat chopped with vegetables and all that in the meal but then if in case you have your um there's meat or fish or chicken on it um, and it's not chopped you cut it with your knife then you pick it with the fork and then you eat but we are fortunate to have it chopped already in the rice so there, there's no need for that you use your knife to shape the food on your fork yes exactly any of your drinks make sure there's no food in your mouth make sure you swallow whatever it is that you have in your mouth before you drink anything don't have rice in your mouth don't have chicken or meat in your mouth that you want to drink on top and all that it's not ladylike <laughs> um, I believe we are all sorted with our food so like I told you today is going to be lots of interactions with our queen and yes that was Queen Zuzu with a little enlightenment about table etiquette and I just learned something new so let me try it. You saw uh, Miss Kitty Queen's try it with your mom so it is my turn to try it so let me try it. And yeah, I got it right. So now I've learned new stuff about table or ticket. I've learned not to disturb with my calories set in my plate whilst I'm eating. I have learned not to talk whilst eating. I have learned to sit majestically and queenly whilst I'm eating. So enjoy my food. So we move on right to the next topic for today. And we'll move to our next queen who is Queen Rebecca Kwabi. So she is here to tell us about how a queen handles herself when she's in public, how a queen should behave. I can mean everything about queenship, so she's here to educate us. Let's move to Miss Rebecca Kwabi. But before Miss Rebecca Kwabi, we'd like to go on a short break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. My name is Tokyo Tanaka. Advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Well, 
welcome back from that short break and we'd like to say a very big thank you to our sponsors mj grand hotel mcberry biscuit fire local bar freddy studio the beaver clothing and axe cuff production these people have been making our production a smooth one so we'll move on to the next agenda for today and on this agenda i i have i have a personal interest in that because this is going to educate us about how a beauty queen should handle herself when she's in public how she should live her lifestyle and this is going to be presented by our own miss ghana rebecca kwabi and <laughs> she's smiling at me right now miss rebecca are you ready for us <laughs> yes, I'm okay ready. so she's ready to take on the stage miss rebecca yeah. Please, your seat is your stage, so please take it on for us. Alright, thank you. Hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi. Miss Kitty Ghana. Let's train Kitty Queens for a future reign. Why are you hungry? Miss Kitty Ghana. Let's train Kitty Queens for a future reign. I can't show you guys, so didn't you enjoy the food? So Miss Kitty Ghana, let's drink Kitty Queens for a future ring. Oh, nice meeting you all. Today we're going to talk about the do's and the don'ts of a queen. And I'm going to give you three how a queen is supposed to sit, stand, and talk in public. A queen is always supposed to be polite in public. You don't talk anyhow. You, you're supposed to wait a point for someone to call upon you before you talk. You don't argue in public. That is why people will try to, anything to get you angry, but you're supposed to hold yourself and be polite. Do you get me? Yes. What did I say? We should not argue in public. So our second topic is how a queen is supposed to sit. So you already know how a queen is supposed to sit. You are not supposed to sit anyhow. You are supposed to sit uprightly and chest out. Don't just sit anyhow. So sit upright and let me see. Tatiana, sit well. Tatiana, go back. Go back a bit. Go back. Mary, sit well. Mary, sit yeah. well. Sit, sit, right there. sit and chest out. Precious, chest out. Yes. So when you chest out, you, you look so nice. You look like a queen. But when you sit there and do like this, how do I look like? So when I sit there and I do this, how do I look like? <laughs> and you say, Tatiana uh, said I look like a pregnant woman. So you need to sit upright, you chest out, then you look queen. You see, when you sit down like this, when someone sees you, they're basically like, hey, this girl, she has really been trained. Do you get me? And now we are going to talk about how a queen is supposed to stand. So, as a queen, when you stand, stand like this. Do you get me? Don't just stand. Stand like this. You stand anyhow. It's not right. A queen is supposed to stand up like this. When you stand, you need to chest out. You don't need to be like this. Chest out. Okay. So you hold your hands together. You see? So all of you stand. When someone says something against you, what will you do? Smile. So how to stand and how to do what? Sit. And how to. So please, kindly sit down. So right here, they want me to give them a little gist about public speaking. So are you ready for me? Yeah. Who is ready to know what public speaking is? Are you ready? Yeah. If you are ready, say yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Say yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we go into public speaking. Who knows what public speaking is? Yeah, love. Talking in front of so many people. Give her a clap. If I say a clap, give her a clap. 
Good. <laughs> Who again knows what public speaking is? Jenaya. Speaking nicely to other people. Give her a clap too. But what do you do when you want to talk? You really have to talk to them. If you don't talk, you know you'll be evicted. And you have to do. What do you do? Okay, precious. You put all those shyness aside and then you deliver love. You have to be confident. This is the main thing. Confidential, yes, I'm balanced. You need to speak boldly, yeah? You do not have to be shy whilst talking to them. But you know something? Feeling nervous, feeling shy feeling a bit down and um, getting scared it's all normal they're all normal feeling when you have to talk to people but when you have to talk to people like you said you have to be confident you have to be bold you have to be very sure of what you are about to say you have to do a lot of research about what maybe you've been asked to talk about this water what do you have to do tell mommy and daddy to give you their phone or your laptop or something just google what is water or mommy and daddy can help you what water is then they'll tell you water is a liquid we have to drink to stay hydrated to stay happy to stay healthy isn't it then when you come to me you know that as you are coming to me you are coming to tell me exactly what water do what does but if you don't do research about water and you come can you talk to me that is where you start to get nervous like extremely nervous and you wouldn't know what you would have to what say but then it's normal like i said it's normal to feel nervous now in public speaking when you're going to public you're going to speak to people in public as a beauty queen you have to make sure that you are very confident in what you are wearing you are so sure and confident in what you're wearing. if you know you are wearing a heel a heel that is shaking and you know that this heel can just make me disgrace myself here. What do you have to do? Find a comfortable hill and do what? Wear it. When you are going to speak in public and you know that I'm going to meet big people like Ekufuado and the rest, what do you have to do? You find keywords, the right keywords to use. Like um, Auntie Asantua asked you, how do we call A-N-D? And someone said, and. But the right word is what? And. Okay, but now it is normal when people are saying and, 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 because that's become part of us. But you make sure you have the right pronunciations to all your words. Maybe you have to say difficulty. Because you did not research, you go and stand there and say difficulty, difficultily, deficiating in, you, anything, you get it. Anything at all that is not right, you just go and stand there and you do what? You say it. Maybe you know that I have to hold my hair all back. To go and talk but you will leave your hair like this and when you go and stand and you are talking everybody will be looking at you like what is this girl doing now when you start to look at the people you start to get a bit timid and shy because what there is something they are saying they are giving you some weird feedback that you are not responding to like they're not responding to your communication and that feedback is what weird okay so you start to get scared, you start to get shy and all that. So when you're going to speak in public, you make sure that your outfit, everything you're wearing from your head to your toe is absolutely on point. You make sure that you're wearing the right hair, you make sure that you're using the right earring, you make sure you're wearing the right clothes that's matching the right shoes. You can't wear, you can't wear pink shoe and wear... Um, yellow yellow bag you can't wear um red red hair and wear uh, maybe indigo dress people will laugh at you but you know that when i wear green green would definitely match with red so i can find something red and put on green or you know that when i wear white white will suit yellow so i find something that will suit yellow and i put it on isn't it now this is the first thing you have to do when you are going out to speak in public okay now the second thing you have to do is to make enough research make sure that whatever you are being taxed you know as beauty queens whether you win or not one day you'll be invited to go for a program to do what to talk 
you saw your launching, right? You saw some of your age mates who came to perform. Someone performed like Kwame Yujin. Those You know, right? You know that. And what if you have been called? Miss Kidi Ghana is coming. And this is Miss Kidi Ghana. Wabejinaho. And like Queen Becky said, Miss Kidi Ghana has come and she's standing like this. Do you think somebody will mind you? Or oh, like Queen Zuzu said, Miss Kidi Ghana is coming to eat. And you go and sit down. Will somebody mind you? They would even tell you that your trainers for Miss Kitty Ghana, they don't give you the right word, training. But when they call you Miss Kitty Ghana, you walk, you come and sit comfortably with your back straight and you are given that sweet smile, okay? You don't smile like this. You are given that sweet smile and you are eating comfortably. Everybody will see you and they will be what? They will, they will be scared of your personality because you have a piercing personality because of how you are what? portraying yourself. So now this brings us to the end of our talk on what? Public speaking. So now we all know we have learned a lot so far from our beautiful and amazing beauty queens. We have learned table what? Manners and etiquette. We have learned about how to keep your composure as a beauty queen. And we have also learned about what? Public speaking. So now this brings us to the end of our talk show.